truly mental illness. Wearing a mask today after two years of this Chinese virus that has infected our country, um, this man-made Chinese virus that Dr. Fauci sent our tax dollars to and contributed to, but people still wearing masks. I mean, it's truly mentally ill. We know the masks don't work. What? The masks do work. What we really need are N95 masks and not the cheap knockoffs that you find on Amazon or uh, or Walmart's website. We need the ones who are actually certified by, I believe, Neosh, Neosh is the company. I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, we, we could have been making a lot more of a difference had we, you know, not gone with cloth masks. But I still think that the cloth masks, assuming you get one that's actually good, um, that does mitigate the spread. That's That's been shown in studies. So for her to say this, she's literally just making that up. But of course, she's going to make that up because this is a conspiracy theorist. And as she talks about other people being mentally ill for wearing masks, it's total projection because this this woman has issues. And the vaccines don't work. People that are vaccinated are getting COVID. But um, let's look at the uh, vaccinated versus unvaccinated rate of hospitals, Marjorie. Perhaps it's the case that because of Omicron, more people are getting COVID-19. There's more breakthrough cases. Yes, that is correct indeed. But who's dying? Who's ending up in hospitals currently? It's the unvaccinated disproportionately. So for her to say this is just absolutely a fabrication. And I, I feel like even though this, this person is extremely dim-witted, she's got to know on some level that she's being at a minimum disingenuous. Right. The, so the masks have to be Neosh approved. Thank you, Emo Dragon. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the company was. Uh, but for me, I wanted to order some N N95 masks for myself and for my family. And I don't know where to even begin looking because it looks like an N95 mask, but many of them are not Neosh certified. So what's the point of buying masks if I don't know if they're going to make a difference? So we might as well go with the cloth ones or the surgical masks that we have currently. So, you know, I just kind of said, fuck it. N95project.org great site. Okay. Thank you for linking that because I haven't had time to really look into the resources. But for those of you who are watching at home, n95project.org. Thank you so much, Emo Dragon, for linking that um, because I, it's, it's really difficult to figure out what you're supposed to buy that's going to be effective. And again, it would be really nice if the government actually sent out masks, N95 masks in particular, or had some clear messaging on what to look for, what to buy. There's a lot of people who I suspect are buying what they believe is N95 masks, but they're not actually up to par with what uh, Neosh would certify. So yeah, let's let's get back to uh, Dami Mommy Marjorie here. But I think that people really have blood on their hands that have stopped. The people who have blood on their hands are the ones who lied about the vaccine, who said, don't get the vaccine. They say, you know, at a minimum, it doesn't work. But at worst, it's basically like poison. People like her, they're the ones who have blood on their hands. And you want to talk about blood on uh, your hands. If you don't support Medicare for all unconditionally, then you are tacitly endorsing the death of tens of thousands of Americans every single year. So she has blood on her hands. She doesn't support universal health care. She's against vaccines. This individual has blood on her hands. The prescriptions of ivermectin refuse people who have had sick family members in the hospital of not being able to take ivermectin or any other kind of life-saving treatment or therapy. I mean, I truly think that we need to investigate all of these people and investigate the deaths that are reported on the VAERS system and hold people accountable. Anyone can submit a report to VAERS. That's one thing that's really frustrating uh, because people will cite VAERS as if it's a valid resource. But none of this has been filtered through. So to take VAERS at face value when anyone can submit it, I could submit a fucking um, report to VAERS saying that the vaccine made one of my uh, balls swell up um, and they'd probably accept it. I could just make it up. So you can't just take VAERS at, you know, at face value. She's going to do what everyone else does and just say people are dying because VAERS, that's the evidence that they provide, which is not evidence, by the way. Dr. Fauci and anyone at the CDC or anyone involved. Dr. Fauci doesn't work for the CDC. Stopped life-saving treatments and therapies and people died. Well, I think they're guilty of murder. This is truly... Yeah, Nicki Minaj already made that report. Yeah, believe it or not, I wasn't thinking about that when I when I said that. But yeah, Nicki Minaj said it first. Her cous husband's cousin's testicles were swollen and they... 
uh, had the marriage ruined because of it. Um, the ivermectin thing is incredibly stupid. Listen, Marjorie, if you want to eat horse paste, uh, horse dewormer, the apple flavor, then just do it. But there's no evidence that it is actually effective against COVID-19. There's no evidence that it's a treatment or preventative. None. None whatsoever. Um, so I don't understand why people who will make this argument, uh, I'm assuming she claims she's against big pharma, but I'm sure she's taking money from the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry. But, um, you know, people who make this argument, oh, we have to do ivermectin. They, they'll also say, oh, well, I'm also anti big pharma. But who manufactures ivermectin? It's Merck, which is a giant pharmaceutical company. So I, I just I'm so sick of it. Like all you have to do is look at the rate of people in the hospital with COVID-19 and see whether or not they're vaccinated. It is overwhelmingly the unvaccinated who's in the hospital. So that tells you everything you need to know. You really don't need any other data points, right? I mean, sure, it helps to look at these peer-reviewed studies, but just look at the numbers in the hospital, and that, that tells you everything. But she's saying, oh, no, no, the people who are, aren't giving ivermectin, they're the ones with blood on their hands, not the people who are pushing vaccine misinformation like myself. It's, it's insane.